I've been experimenting with different coils. So I got my glasses caught up in wire here. And Alex wanted a higher frequency. This is the original coil on the AM transmitter. And here's the wiring diagram for this original transmitter. We got 20 turns over here and we got 80 here. And the frequency reads uh, 521 kilohertz. So it's at the bottom of the AM band. But he wants a higher frequency. Well, you can tune it a little bit with this variable capacitor, but uh, it doesn't move very far. In other words, this would be sort of like a trimmer. So the thing to do would be to make some new coils. This one is uh, 20 turns, which is the same as the 20 turns here, and uh, 23 turns. So almost 50-50 on this coil. And we'll plug that one in in a little bit, see what that does. And then uh, we'll see what this coil does. This I found on, uh, I wanted, you know, a much smaller coil just see what would happen. And I found this out of the way here at Walmart. And it was less than a dollar and a half for all this. So I took the thread off the bobbin and wound this coil. Like I said, this is about 15 and this is 23 on this side. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. This one we've already done before so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to put this coil on it. Okay, I've changed the coil. Let me double check here. Yeah, everything's plugged in. This is 2023 now on the pill bottle. And the output is a higher frequency. It says 877 kilohertz. But the output is much higher. Well, much, much higher. So let me do an auto so we can get this thing on the screen here. Let's see, we'll, we'll go this way here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'll do a screen capture on this. Remember the output is quite a bit higher. Let's see. It's this button here. And then, when that's done, we'll try this coil and see what the frequency is. Again, the frequency on this one is about um, about eight seven kilohertz. Now 
Okay, we got the third coil here. Let's see what this is. Higher frequency, a little less output, but uh, it's this is too high. This reads 2.2 megahertz, so that's over the AM band, so you'd want to add wire onto this one. So, hmm. Yeah, uh, this one was the 15 and 23, so I think I would add uh, at least 20 more turns on this to get it in the AM band. Let's do a quick review here. This is the original wiring diagram, and all we did in this video was change the coil, the number of turns on that coil. And this is the original, 80 and 20. And here is the screen capture. You can see the frequency is 521 kilohertz. And here is the second coil of 23 and 20. And its frequency was 869 kilohertz. And then the last coil on that thread bobbin, the turns there are 23 and 15. And its frequency in this screen capture is 2.2 megahertz. So obviously you'd add wire to this one to get it down into the AM band. Thanks for watching.